<sighs> and to think, not but a few days ago, this big pile of crap was a slightly smaller pile of crap. Hello everyone, welcome back to our journey beyond the abyss. So, last episode when I started off, I forgot to do the slash lives command, and this time I'm getting an interesting result. No lives is disabled. No lives is the lives mod that this pack runs off of. And, um, yeah, it's, it's bugging out. I'm not quite sure what's up there. So, um, when I drowned last episode, we saw that I had three lives left. So, I, I guess we're just gonna continue on and, until I either lose a life or earn a life, which we should at the end of this chapter, and we'll see if that fixes things. So, let's get into what we're gonna be doing today. Last time, we just freshly earned ourselves our lovely new brick mold, and now we just need to start using it to fully advance. So, the first thing we need to do is, uh, let's solve this bricks quest. I don't quite have 16 clay on me. Let's keep that away. So, the easiest way to get clay is not, in fact, digging through, this, through the not sand. It's jump on into the water and we'll find ourselves some clay. Let's see here. Yes, this looks like a nice little batch of it. And uh, I, I only technically need a couple of bricks, but I'm just going to stock up a little bit. Make more than I need just so that I start building up a stock of things. I don't think that bricks are a recipe that I need very frequently. But I do know that clay is something I'm going to need quite a lot of, so I might as well grab a bit of it while I'm in the zone. Plus we have this lovely flint shovel that is making this so nice and easy. The only thing I could really wish for is that we had advanced to the point that I could uh, get some things to help make the diving even better. I think I believe I've shown off uh, that awesome dash over at the market stall sells some scuba gear, and I think that the next age is when I'll finally be able to understand it. So, just for the sake of being complete about things, let's make ourselves a nice 16 clay bricks. And these are going to be cooking for one minute, three seconds, so it just needs a single piece of coal. And where, yes, yes, it has been a few days. Unfortunately, at, at my current situation, I have a noisy roommate. So, I have to wait for them to go to sleep before I can record anything. And that means I generally am only able to record one episode of either Breath Edge or JBTA per day. And that, that's why I have such a slow release schedule right now, is I'm building up a buffer. Eventually, when I have about uh, a week's worth of content or so built up, I'll start releasing on the daily. And then it'll just be uh, releasing JBTA every alternate day or so. But uh, we're not quite at that point. So I guess while that's happening, I should go hunting for some limestone, yes. And I realized I was being a derp. I was being the big dumb. Let's not dig there. Let's dig further up into the island. I guess that shaft over there will make into our proper mine shaft. But yes, I was being the big stupid. And I can, in fact, dig quite a long ways down if I build myself a little sun well. Yes, so long as I leave a space open in the center, I can drill down to the bottom of the world if I want to. Just so that we have sunlight shining down on in. So I'm just going to spiral down, and I'm going to hunt 
for some proper pyrotech limestone. Because, uh, yeah, I just don't trust myself trying to underwater mine without a scuba tank. I have proven myself uh, hazardous to my own health when doing that. So let's just get a ways underground and let's start uh, poking around in directions. Like uh, what I can do is every so often I can send a shaft out. And if I turn on F7 mode, why is F7 mode not working? If I go up to the surfaces, no, oh, it's nighttime right now. Shoot. Let's run to the village. Because my platform is big enough that monsters are spawning all over it. Mm hmm. Yeah, F7. Now it's working. Why wasn't it working before? This whole game is being a little bit bizarre right now. But yes. Run into the village, let the NPCs distract them while we sleep through the night. That sounds like a nice little cozy plan. And honestly, this is a little bit of an opportunity. We can run around and see if there's any monster drops for us to pick up. Lots of rotten flesh and string and spider bits, oh my. Of course, now we also have to watch out to make sure that none of the villagers have caught a disease. Because that is how you get those infinite plagues started in your millionaire villages, is you let your monsters spawn and someone gets infected and it's just a problem. Ah, okay. You know what, let's throw some of the pebbles out. Uh, granite, yes. I'll keep those diorite, because that diorite is actually something we kind of need. Let's keep those granite chunks, because those are the big chefty chunks. Uh, spider leg. I honestly don't care about spider leg. There, let's just combine it. And throw out the spare. And plant fiber. I don't care about everything else we can kind of store. Get my unrecognizable sorted away. Oops. And let's just toss those. I really should get the uh, deeper chests. Oh well. Blood. Bleh. And let's combine the cobble over there. Diorite pebbles. Yeah, diorite is going to be one thing that we do need to gather up. Um, because we do need specifically diorite for making certain machine parts. But anyway, bricks. Now, next in our quest line, and oh yes, I remember I was hunting for limestone because I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to start getting some more refractory clay going, but I guess that's, let's just do our quest. Let's just follow the damn quest book. Stop being distracted so much. So we now need to make... Oops. We need now to make the stone tank, which I don't know why it called regular old clay bricks a prerequisite, because they ain't. But uh, we just need a single wood chip. And we are going to need eight of those. Yes, by uh, holding down sneak and scrolling, you can pick up one thing at a time out of your, out of those chests. And let's just toss these. I think the only use for these is they crush down into sand piles. 
But yes, these tanks, it's the one tank we can use right now. Um, it can't hold hot fluids, but it can hold like water or molten clay or something like that. And uh, it's otherwise, honestly, it's a little bit useless, I think, right now. But oh well. Let's keep that in miscellany, I suppose. Okay. I suppose it wanted us to pair that up with the Crucible Furnace, but uh, we ain't ever going to need a buffer tank for the Crucible Furnace because we're just pouring things directly into pots and stuff. And... Yep, now it wants us to show that we can make slaked lime, so... Let's uh, get ourselves a full eight blocks of clay, because I think that's the maximum it can hold. Uh, forgot where I put my compacting bin. And just remind me, how long do this go? Three minutes. Which unfortunately means we need to be a little bit inefficient with our charcoal burning a whole three of them. No, no it can only do four blocks at a time. Oh well. Get out of here. But yes, need to make more of that flint clay. Let's see, if we're melting a full four blocks, that should be four buckets of clay. And yeah, so eight of them equals two buckets. So yes, I need a full 16 flint. Am I out of, oh no, okay. I actually made tons more, okay, cool. Let's just, oh, no, I can't even put that in the soaking pot until it's ready. What should I file you under here? Yep, okay. So let's go return to our quest for more limestone, because that's going to be the limiting factor on making any sort of refractory substance right now. I should have marked where the diggy hole is. Maybe if I can get a higher perspective there. Yes, yeah, F7 mode still ain't working, huh. Oh well. And actually, my lighting looks bizarrely flat down here. What the heck is going on? Ah, yes, there is a... Uh, I believe I mentioned how we can have... Uh, mine tunnel collapses happen? Yeah, there you go. There's an example of that. I am going to have to go and make a new pickaxe real quick. I should have thought of that before I set out. Good, my machines are still running. Always try and be multitasking. There. And I'll probably stop accumulating cobble granite after I have a stack of it built up, because that's honestly all you really need. Um, da, 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 right, I was making a pickaxe. Let's make a couple of these bricks. Yep, that is the end of my luck right there. At least I, I knew exactly when my pickaxe was about to run out, huh? Do I have any? Hmm, those are tool rod tier ones, ain't they? I could just use those, but eh. So let's just, uh, sticks, where is sticks? Do I have regular sticks anywhere? Need 
to refamiliarize myself with my own damn sorting system. Let's go get some sticks. Thankfully, we can just uh, punch some leaves. That should do nicely. still have the paste in my there we are no one in each please ah shoot I don't have any bone shards do I ah shoot I don't have any flint shards do I oh boy howdy okay well time to make a crude pickaxe let's just take some of our yeah, let, let's just uh, take that one compressed stick we have and, uh, and let's make ourselves a couple of uh, a couple of bone flakes just so that we don't run into this problem again. Now, bone flakes, bone shards, whatever. They can be used for a couple of things. Um, they can also be crushed into bone meal. That's part of the bone meal processing in this pack. New spawn point. Did I have a different spawn point? Must be that bed over by the oil platform. Yeah, that sounds about right. <clears throat> okay. Tree, da, 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 da. And let's just toss this away. Okay, so, so far we're failing on not being derp this episode, but that's part of the charm, I guess. At least that's what I'll tell myself. The clay looks so goopy. It just kind of, it doesn't flow at all. It just kind of teleports itself into place through a single column of itself. Yeah. Well, I'll just hold on to that because I think I'm going to need to run another eight through it. Where should I keep these? Mm. This is turning into kind of the tools material section, I guess. Anyway, I should be running another batch of stone, too. Yeah always useful to have more masonry bricks. Two of those. And no, I'm not going to run in any more melted clay. Just going to let that have its little bath. And hopefully finally find some limestone. Yeah, so long as I'm digging around my little sun well, and so long as I keep on uh, expanding it downwards, our little mine shaft can go quite far down. And hopefully, eventually, perhaps. run into some goodies. But with my luck I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't get my expectations too high. Yeah, this is just utterly bizarre. What's going on with the lights? Hmm. 
Let's try poking that way. Yeah, you can see that digging around underground is a bit of a nightmare at the moment. But it does look like it's paying off. Finally, our luck turns around and we find a nice little pocket of limestone. Unfortunately, it is a little pocket of limestone. Seriously, what the hell is up with this lighting? I mean... It's only happening underground, too, if I... Yeah, it's like... So this is F7 mode on, and then I go down and it just kind of... Oh! It's because I'm holding the flashlight! The flashlight is invalidating the spawn thinger. Okay. I'm stupid. I wish the flashlight wouldn't do that, though. That's also kind of stupid. Wait a minute. Some of these areas are dark enough that I probably should have had trouble with the Gru. So why not Gru? Oh, no. Ah, good. That's quite nice. It's a good thing in the end that we got bamboozled, I suppose. Yes, tasty, tasty lime. Mm. Yes, let's fill in a little bit more. Just get rid of any areas that are uh, spawnable. But yes, you see, we can uh, we can get a little bit of a distance away from our from our sun well, and we can poke around and try and find us some resources. And uh, I only need a little bit of lime to start building myself up a nest egg. I only need enough to um, to get some refractory clay going for the next stage. Honestly, I probably have enough just as I do right now because um, I don't need a huge amount more refractory clay just to reach the next stage. But it is good to be overprepared, I suppose. Anyway. Just continue accumulating a nice little bed of cobble. Cobble granite, anyway. Eh, no, I don't care. Definitely keep all the limestone. Definitely keep all the diorite. Yes. You can just go. Eh, cobbled limestone. Can I crush that yet? I can. And I already had some, too. I should have dipped into that. Oh, well. It probably wasn't enough to serve me any purpose. But yes, we are always going to want to have... Ah, good. This is why we build our backups. I will build another backup as soon as I just have uh, 16 limestone in the oven. And uh, actually remind me, how much is that going to take? Seven minutes, so it's going to need six charcoal. And yeah, I mean, if I was watching this like a hawk, then I could keep it constantly burning and just be cycling stuff in, but 
that's honestly you, you see how much trouble I have keeping myself together just as things are do you really think that I would manage that <laughs> and it was for paste I do believe No, not for paste. For wood chip. Which honestly would have been my next guess. Hmm. Should I get some more charcoal on the pyre? I suppose I could. Let's just put that flint clay away and let's keep on making more. Yep. And that's going to need three charcoal. Okay. You know what? I'll sleep in the village because I'm going to. Yeah, I have enough money. I'll buy a stack of logs. Actually, no, my trees are grown. I should harvest them. Save some money. After we sleep. These trees have grown up nice and tall. They should have a bountiful harvest for us. Hmm. Maybe I should go diving for some jungle saplings because those grow really freaky tall and give you lots and lots and lots of wood. And the... Uh, the sea grass over in the ocean, it can uh, randomly drop saplings of uh, any type amongst the dynamic trees. So, getting a jungle sapling out of it is. Uh, not out of the question. And I suppose that if you were utterly insane and you wanted to play a kind of a super challenge mode to this already kind of challenge mode pack, and you wanted to go like no starter equipment, completely ex nihilo, no villagers, no help, no structures to tear down, um, all that was in the world was like the dungeons and stuff like that so that uh, you could get the advancement books out of them. But like the dungeons didn't have any loot or them, I, I guess. But, but yes, if you wanted to do a uh, JBTA insane mode, then you can you can do that by just getting your saplings from the seagrass instead of I suppose I have two stacks, so I should go for 14, yeah. But yeah, it, it's technically possible, but you really don't want to do that. JBTA is insane enough as it is when you are trying your damnedest to cheese it.
you know what? I am going to lay out a more proper refractory burning area or pit burning area which will eventually become a refractory burning area instead of kind of doing this awkwardly shaped L-shaped hole in the ground yeah so mm. for my pit burning the thing about pit burning is eventually you have these uh, collectors and stuff like that which will pick up tars from the things you burn. So I'm going to want them raised one level up off the ground so that we can have soaking pots. And the other thing is uh, there's these lovely little stone and wooden doors which can act as part of the refractory. So uh, I want it at least three wide so I can have one of those doors in the center of it, you know? Three wide, three tall, that should fit a door frame. So... This is our collector level. Uh, no, wait. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. We need it raised up off the ground. This is our collector level, because then the... Uh, there's like a... Uh, what's it called? Uh... Anyway, th there's a thing that, uh, it's called a drain or something, that sucks off of the collectors, and that's what you put the spigot on, so our soak pot's right here. So, we need it raised essentially two levels off the ground. This is our collector layer. And then we finally get the burn. And like I said, I want that three high, so we'll be burning nine wood at a time. And you see, like that, I should be able to have like a uh, platform here and turn that into a door and we'll have very easy access to our burn. Am I out of dirt wall blocks? I guess I am. Oh, we got another imperfect, but oh well, we now have enough for a nice, even, uh, why is our soaking pot not even? Let's even that out, just so that I'm not constantly juggling half-broken buckets around. Yeah, and let's... Uh, Za, za. Fill her up. This is one of these tasks that by the time you can automate it, you really don't need to anymore, but you kind of want to do it anyway just out of spite from having to do this so many times. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I need 32 to fill all of them up. Derp. Oh, well, we'll just we'll just cycle that into there. And this was a uh, 6 charcoal. Yes. I'm probably going to be reminding that myself of that for a little while. Ah, uh, yes, right. And I believe I was uh, storing all the ash in one of these boxes until I could build a proper stash for it. Sort my stuff away. So that's one stack. And eight more. Store away our change. Remember that our compacting bin is over here now. Good. 
and go get ourselves a stack of building blocks. Actually, I wanted to check on... Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, the windows. Can we even build a chisel of any type? No, not yet. I think that has to wait until we have Tinker's Construct. But once we have Tinker's Construct, that is the path to infinite money right there. I guess I'll leave that as a surprise to what I mean. Be all mysterious. But yes, I wanted to check and see if... Uh, I could buy any tripes from the cow farm. Because that is actually really good food. No, not yet. My reputation is not yet high despite the amount of trading I've been doing with them. I suppose they heard some of the things I said about establishing dominance. Hmm. Which means we must establish dominance harder. We can't let an attitude like that stand. But anyway. Yes, it's, it's always nice to have a, a stack of these little dirt wall blocks around just as the uh, general purpose building tool because they are easy to get masses of, weigh nothing, they don't break, they're ugly as sin, but if you're just using them as functional blocks, it's fine. I am eventually going to have to replace my flooring, though, yes. I, I think that I should have at least some aesthetics going for me. Anyway, though, yes. But you see, the uh, tar will collect on this layer. We'll have a drain coming off here. And I should build out my platform right now just to have it planned. Yeah. So we'll be able to just jump up, open the door, and that'll be nice. It'll be a very lovely little semi-luxurious pit burner. I can't imagine that these are something I recognize. Are these tin? That looks like tin. No, that's aluminum. I suppose get another batch of limestone prepped. And it's probably time to pour out the clay, too. Yes, I think we have a relatively efficient little machine area forming up. But yes, uh, again, we're just building up to uh, refractory stuff again so that we can build the flint and steel to end the chapter. And to do that, we're going to need two refractory bricks, two regular bricks, a flint, which I should go hunt up some more flint. Hmm. I'll do that as soon as it's time to start cycling the next batch. That sounds like a plan. But yes, I am building more refractory clay than is necessary, simply because 
refractory clay is something you can never have enough of. And uh, give me just one moment, I'll be right back. All right, my apologies. I guess I shouldn't have paused, paused it, because it's early enough in the day that for something like that I would have been fine, but oh well. I guess I should hunt up some more flint at the moment. Let's get that flashlight back on, even though it is likely to confuse me the next time I go underground because I am a idiot. And I need to build another shovel. At least now that we have a big ugly brown platform built, it's always going to be easy to find our base. Let's just throw away the granite, the andesite, the regular stone. We are getting tiny, tiny amounts of diorite. We're going to need much of it. Because, um, yes, these stone sawmill blades are, and I believe that there are stone cogs as well. Those are things we're going to need quite a lot of. And this is specifically diorite. It's not just any rock. And that also needs a regular diorite, which means that we need to make a cobble diorite. I have yet to find a source of diorite stone so I can make these diorite chunks. If I could, then I could get cobbled diorite, and I believe that should crush down. Yes, and that would be very, very convenient, but I have searched hell and high water. I don't think diorite spawns as natural inclusions anywhere in this in this uh, dimension. I suppose I could check the, the um, there is a snow dimension, a secret snow dimension that I found once while exploring. I could check there. I didn't search much underground because it is a very cold dimension and it uh, will kill you fairly quickly. I know that the snow dimension has slime islands, though. I once did an expedition into it in order to get myself a slime sapling, and that unfortunately proved to be a, uh, a major disappointment because I, I couldn't decraft the congealed slime like I was hoping. It congealed slime just does not become uh, become slime balls, which are something that we're going to need quite a lot of in a little bit. So I've got my slaked lime, and I'm about to have more slaked lime. Yes, that's good. Yes, let's just let this one last batch fully uh, fully realized so that we can create ourselves a full batch of 16 refractory bricks to be put on the kiln. Uh, 
I should probably make a stash for sugar cane too. But I think I'll hold off on making stashes for my ashes and my sugar cane ashes. I, I think I'll hold off on making stashes until I have uh, a sawmill to streamline the, the production of them because stashes require these oak wood slabs. And if I'm going to make them, I also might as well just fully upgrade them. And that requires that tarred board. Those, bar, those boards are also made as part of a sawmill production chain. And uh, the tar that they require is something that we are going to need our luxury pit burner for. Which has not done cycling yet. Hmm. Okay. Yes, I have way more flake flint clay than I need, but uh, oh well. Let's just and that ash and just lots of regular clay. Probably I don't have enough. So let's put 16. You know, let's just lay out the pattern and then do it with the scroll wheel. Yeah, that's a bit faster. Uh, no, it's just a stack o clay to the 16 here. So that is something we can do. All right. Now, unfortunately, while that's two ratio to uh, a stack of clay balls is not to ratio on this part. Mm. Oh well. So where was I storing this? I guess over there. No wait, I was storing... Yeah, that's lump of refractory clay right there. Okay, cool. I have completely forgotten everything that I've sorted away into my own damn storage system. Uh, no, let's not go for the full 16 bricks into the oven, even though it would be the most efficient thing. Let's just, let's just advance the damn plot. Will, of course, let the current batch of limestone finish. I guess that while that's cooking, I can go swimming for more clay. To do that, I'd better get myself a better, sh another shovel. Dip, 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 and dip. No way, it's six for a shovel. Yeah, just gonna let that finish up its business and let's wait for night time. Don't go diving in the dark. Oof, it's so close to the end of the chapter, I can taste it. And our life will be significantly improved shortly. go. 
But yeah, so you can see that uh, we're going to need buckets of fuel. We're going to need bunches of clay. We're going to need all the resources. The kind of uh, the refractory clay grind is your first little welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss moment. Especially once you get to the next chapter and you start seeing things and saying like, You want me to make how many of those bricks? <laughs> uh, the pack is... Uh, its period of relative kindness has expired. And even as we grow more capable, the expectations it's placing upon us are increasing uh, beyond proportionally. So let's just prepare ourselves for it as best we can. I tell you, the one thing I can't wait for right now is uh, I'm hungering to have Tinker's Construct tools back so I'm not uh, running through entire pickaxes within moments and having to Every time I break a damn tool, having to run back. I, I want to be carrying around a, a ton of repair kits already, please. <laughs> oh, well. Eh, sure, let's keep the spare clay balls. Mini clay balls. Lump of clay. Ah, excellent. You know what, let's just hold on to that until we can get all four pots cooking. And in the meantime, get our bricks on. And while those are cooking... Oh, charcoal's done. Oops. Wrong one. But yeah, you see? Once, once I have the uh, tech, because to make those doors... Door... They cost this unfamiliar item, which is glue. But uh, once I can make a door, I can just plop that on there, and I'll keep that open so that we don't have a spawnable area inside of there. Two stacks and sixteen. But we'll have a very convenient refractory burner. Good, we already have ourselves a stack of charcoal. That is lovely. I guess I'll keep on gathering some clay while the bricks are burning. Hmm. That and I'm hoping the next chapter is when I can uh, is when I can get myself a diving tank. I believe it is. Because that, uh, that, I feel bad about that drowning death last episode. That's gonna haunt me. Dying to the butterfly is one thing. That was just me being ganked by something completely unexpected. But me being so busy talking to myself and squinting at the wall that I didn't notice my air. And then panicking and instead of shuffling into uh, into the nice little alcove I'd digging and uh, panic going for the surface when I didn't have time. Yeah, that's... That is just a death of sheerest stupid derp. And I feel terrible about it. That's one of those things that you're, you look at yourself and you go, Oh boy, 
I'm not going to reach the point where lives are not an issue, am I? I'm going to die before I can start uh, before I can start my plans for immortality. I'm not going to live long enough to live forever. Hmm. Maybe I should build a stash for clay balls too. Well, then again, we're going to start going through them pretty darn quick. I suppose I could dig for some more limestone. Yeah, that's a thing I could do. Oh, hello. Because, yeah, going through a, a stack of clay balls every time I manage to... Uh, oops. Every time I manage to get 32 slaked lime together, that'll add up pretty quick. Oh, I already had... Oh, it's only... Wait, why do I have two crushed limestone? Yeah. Questions. Anyway, let's just go digging for more. And let's remember to take the flashlight away from our hands so that F7 mode actually functions. Let's go down another couple levels. I believe that's uranium ore. If I if this lime outcropping is two blocks tall, that might be a good one to dig in just because it digs a little bit faster. No, but it ain't very deep at all. Okay, keep crawling downwards. this level. And kind of stand back away from the falling rocks area if you can. Because it checks for collapse chance every time you mine a block. That's our sun well. I won't turn down a little bit of free copper. You know what, let's poke that way too. I need a new pickaxe. Try not to you know what, if I, maybe I should make the first use of every pickaxe being dig up a couple of uh, masonry bricks into some more tier one tool rods, just so that we have a steady profit of those. Hmm. Yep, this is going to be the last of the granite we let ourselves build up before I just start tossing it. Well, maybe I should cook a stack of smooth granite too. Hmm. Feels good to have a nice clean inventory. A stack and eight. And let's 
see if I Looks like our refractory bricks are done, but let's complete the task at hand first. And for those makes us a lovely new pick. And now we can finally end the dang chapter. Oh, that's always depressing. I mean, I suppose that when you're building that many of them all at once, it's kind of inevitable, but still. Okay, so our flint and steel. Up in the corner S there, then two tier ones. Two of those. And that was the flint in the center. And I believe that then it should be, yes, the refractory bricks down there, regular brick, and then the two, or masonry brick, I should say. One of those and two of those. And this is, uh, this recipe right here is the reason why I just buy bow drills from Echoing Mist. But yes, we have a new age. We've entered the Copper Age. Not even the, the Bronze Age, just the Copper Age. But still, I think we'll actually enter the Iron Age before we can make bronze. Okay, so this is the question. Can my lives now properly work? So, dupe, 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 no, nothing's happening, oh boy. Okay, so I, I'm gonna call it a night right here. I know that this is kind of early, this is kind of a wimpy wimpy episode, but I, something has gone wrong with lives. And actually, you know what, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try drowning myself and see if I'm still reporting as limited lives. Okay. Question time is, uh, will this still report me as having limited lives? Because I think something's gone busted. I think something's gone boosted. It takes surprisingly long to drown yourself when you are deliberately doing it instead of like just derping around doing stuff. Okay. Take me, sweet death. I drowned, but yeah, no lives seems to have bugged out or something. I haven't used any console commands in this world. I do have an alternate world. I have, uh, I'll show you. If I have all my stuff picked up including that mysterious life. But yeah, I do have a second world that is in creative mode. And 
and I've gone into that world and I've um, I, I, I've just been using that world to experiment like I, I vaguely remembered that the weeping angels could take you to a fancy island and I wanted to check it out and I was uh, flying around at super speed exploring the world just to remind myself of where some of the things I've seen are and uh, like uh, someone on the discord for this mod pack uh, they pointed out um, a mechanic that I vaguely remembered and I wanted to try it out to make sure I was remembering it correctly and uh, just, just vague just general miscellany like that that you build a test world for and you know, that's just this new world here but like that's a completely tougher world that's the only uh that world yeah if i edit it okay so that's reset icon open folder there's nothing to show that this has cheat mode and that one doesn't is there hmm actually i don't think this pack even gives you the option to turn on cheat mode does it no you, you just so i had to turn on cheat mode by uh, opening that up in LAN and then but yeah but I promise you I have never done cheats in my LP world I've only been doing that in my experimental world so I don't know what's going on anyway I will be talking in the discord I'll be asking some of the people in there what's up if they know anything but uh, this might have turned into a non-hardcore a non-hardcore mod pack but uh yep that's fine even if we're playing on infinite lives for bugging reason i'll still continue just for the joy of it i suppose and we can unofficially keep count so um i believe i had three lives from a stupid drowning that test death i just did we won't count and now i picked up a heart so i have four lives on our unofficial count but anyway yep that is tonight's episode i will be in tech support for a little while you all have yourselves a lovely evening